they told us to wear homemade non-medical masks. And so, I've taken to wearing this. <laughs> what do you think of that? It's totally official. It's totally official. I made this mask myself. This is something I've done. I made it as part of the act a long time ago. <sighs> oh. Oh, my face just doesn't fit right sometimes. I found this mask in a thrift store. It wasn't this mask. It was this blue face with an Indianapolis Colt emblem on it, stickered on, really nice mask. It was wicked enough already looking at it. But I peeled that sticker off and I painted it. I painted it because somehow I got this thing I don't know what it is. I don't know where I got it, but I got it. And in the back, it, it, it sells a picture of me. And so, just a little bit of different emotion. Look how happy I am. This poor sad sack had had a bad day. He wasn't dealing with it well. I always say, the, the problem that they had with him in his day-to-day -day life was they took some guy in a puffy shirted sleeve shirt, you know, like a pirate shirt, <laughs> and sent him into the mountains with some guy. And then they filled his head full of the truth. He had to learn these lines. He had to let it stick inside his head. And it <laughs> drove him crazy. <laughs> what they needed was somebody that could take it. And somebody that already knew these things. But why would somebody like that want to out themselves? <laughs> and so... I used that, and I painted it up, and now I get to wear it around. I get to go into stores. I get to go into the liquor store with this thing on, and yeah, just following orders. <sighs> and so... Oh. <sighs> ah. It never really wants to come off. It, something's got a hold on me. And it's got me good. It's holding me tight. And doing what it should. It won't let go. It stays in a... Days, it'll stay forever. But every growing plant dies, even if it's a heather. Ha! So, this, I'm wearing this. A homemade non medical mask. And. Ah! Happy Valpurgis Knot, April 30th, Valpurgis Knot, one of those old holidays that goes all the way back into Sumeria and in the 
damn Necronomicon and everything else. And the Germans, the way I understand it, they, uh, they celebrate it. They used to. I'm pretty sure they don't do this anymore, but in what they call the good old days, uh, the young men would get on their horses and they would just go blowing out and they would burn barns and they would steal farmers' daughters and they would just ravage them. April 30th, woo-hoo! Uh, they had to make a movie about it and call it The Purge, but it's been going on. And uh, what started happening was uh, they made a holiday out of it called a Valpurgis Night. Wolves Night, that's the way I understand it. And the farmers would put food out for the young men that came galloping in on their horses, you know, they'd, yeah! But, you know, the pie's gonna get cold. And so they, they'd take the food and they'd eat it. I'll go rape the daughter later. I got, I got, you, I got a zippo, I'll burn the fucker down anytime I want, maybe tomorrow. But then they eat and they're like, ah, I might as well go home. And so it's this thing Volpurgis knocked and, uh, I knew that the way things were going with this virus thing, that uh, it wasn't gonna go crazy. But uh, now that everybody's been released, you think about it. Everybody's like, oh, it's better now. Oh, well, it's killed off those that aren't gonna be carriers and it's, it seems less, but it seems to me that it's spread all over the damn place. It's really planted some roots. It's sitting there, you know, first year it creeps, second year it leaps, uh, like ivy. It's all over the place. And now they've released us. <laughs> and everybody within an hour of it happened, I was like, holy crap, everybody's out, you know. Think of what the virus is gonna do. It's just like looking out there, like that guy walking into the Amazon tribe, you know, the only man, it's just looking, it's like, look at all these hosts. And it's just, and it might just go full blown. And the thing is on, I always said, since we're talking Valpurgis Knocked, was that when everything goes to shit, I am gonna get on a black steed, naked, with my hair on fire, and just ride through downtown Kalamazoo, just cutting people down left and right, just some naked guy going, Rah! You know, I mean, it's over, right? I, I, you don't have to worry about the rules anymore. These people, they're all, they're out rioting. So it's like, oh, who's in the wrong here? I'm just trying to uphold a little bit of, you know, civilization, some structural integrity to this thing. Get rid of these people. That's, you know, it falls in line with Paul Pergus Knocked that kind of thinking because I don't know they sounded like they were having a lot of fun but the thing is now since everybody's been released it might just come to that wow I'm gonna need to buy a horse 